So hi there, welcome to lesson 5. This is the very essence of why we have gone on this journey. We talked about data processing and we need to process dates differently, strings differently and numbers differently. So one of the key processes that you do with, with, with dates are differences. So you want to find out, for example, how old somebody is as at today. And that's very clear. You need today's date and you subtract the date of birth. That's assuming that that is in the data. And if the date of birth is not there, what are the other things you can do to get those that information? So one of the major things, like I said, is done with date. With dates are differences in dates. For example, date of registration, you know, date of entry, date of exit. How many days this person spend in the country? How many days this person has been a member of the club? How many days, you know, has the person been owing uh, since his due date? So there are quite a number of things you do with dates and time too. You know, how many hours has he spent working and determining that for logic, you know, the essence, the essence is all about logic. You know, we talked about checking for completeness in module three. I mean, clarity in module three completeness in module four and we have been on this consistency journey because sometimes the dates give us clues to how healthy data can be so when we are looking at dates and time differences this is very very key very very key so we will look at our excel just like we did in the last lesson and um, we will try to see for example how many days between two dates you know and there's a way you go about doing that in excel and the reason why it's first with excel is just to show you how it's done in excel and then how we bring it up and multiply that i mean effect in um in i mean sorry or amplify that effect in data so please just take a look at the um animation going on right in front of you it's very straightforward in excel you just if there are two dates not two times, you know, or clock, like I'd explained in previous lessons. Once there are two dates, just do the subtraction and it will give you the value in days. Now, if you wanted months and all the other details, there are other ways you manipulate that. But basically for days, it's very, very straightforward. And this, of course, applies to the date uh, variable. So now let's look at the end time and start time. So this is clock. You know, so um, there's still a technique in in um, in Excel for that, which is you multiply by the number, the hours. That is 224 hours times 60. That's what gives you 1,440. And then you can find your difference by dragging and dropping. For the minutes, basically you just multiply by 24. So it's because of the way time is also stored in Excel. That's why we have that information. So there are critical things you must note. You must note the format of the end and the start times, clock or date, please. If the format of end time is different from start time, there will be challenges. And that's what we have done in the first four lessons to make sure that both formats align before you start doing your processing. So you can't allow one to remain a number and the other one a date and then you do the division, I mean subtraction, you want things to work your way. It doesn't work that way. And then the differences, are you looking for differences in days, differences in minutes, differences in hours? These are the kind of things that you must first sort out before you start the journey of finding differences between start time and end time, start date and end date, you know, and that helps a guy's strategy. So having done that in Excel, we imported that same file with this do file that is on, on the, on the right of your screen. We imported it and the whole idea is to compare the Excel differences with the um, stata differences. So that's this, the next thing. So basically when you import, you import these three columns, which are already been done in Excel. And then you run the gen command, which is just differences. So you see that the same way you do it in Excel is the same way you do it in, in, in Stata. So no basic difference. 
when you are looking for differences in days very straightforward okay now let's look at time difference now we had a particular variable there that helped us with with the time difference so we had a particular variable so and we've also computed minutes and hours so these two uh, lines six and seven in the do file greatly help us to compute uh, that in minutes now note the minutes that's written there when you find differences of time you have to put minutes remember this was imported directly from from excel so it's already having the time format already that's time in hours minutes and seconds so if you observe you don't have much difference at all when you do that but because it's a slight manipulation in stata for hours you would see that there is especially if you look at row one there is 1.83 for the excel version but stata hours is 1.8333 otherwise they are basically more or less the same thing so that's how it works when you're looking for time difference and it's very important whether it's for date differences in the days or differences in the hours or differences in the minutes so this is basically how it works so i hope this makes sense uh we really do not have a need for practicals here when we do the overall lessons we will go through everything again so i'll see you in lesson six when i will now talk about mighty things really the format of the dates and the time in theater very interesting very very interesting and just keep your fingers crossed so that we can have um, just an added layer of understanding of how these things work and how we can use them to our advantage so thank you i'll see you in the next lesson